In the quiet city of Anaheim, California, a crime so heinous unfolded that it shocked the community to its core. Today, we delve into the tragic story of Autumn Wallace, a nine-year-old girl whose life was brutally taken. This is the story of Rosie Alfaro, the youngest woman sentenced to death in Orange County. Join us as we unravel the chilling details of this case. The day was ordinary, the sun high in the sky, but darkness lurked in the heart of one individual. Rosie Alfaro, a name that would soon become synonymous with betrayal and brutality, made her way to the Wallace household, a place she had been before, a place where she was recognized and trusted. Autumn Wallace, innocent and unsuspecting, opened her door, greeting Alfaro with the warmth typical of a child. Little did she know, this act of kindness would be her last. Alfaro, driven by a desperate need for drug money, saw not a child, but an opportunity. The house, once filled with the laughter and joy of a young life, quickly turned into a scene of unimaginable horror. The aftermath left a community reeling, a family broken, and a nation asking why. This tragic event not only took the life of an innocent child, but also marked a turning point in the June 15, 1990, remains a day etched in the collective memory of the Wallace family and the Anaheim community. Autumn Wallace, a young girl emblematic of innocence and brightness, was alone at home, unaware of the impending horror. Rosie Alfaro, 18, battling drug addiction, arrived at the Wallace home. Known to the family, she was greeted and allowed inside by Autumn. However, Alfaro's intentions were far from innocent. In a desperate pursuit for drug money, Alfaro's actions took a dark turn. The Wallace home, a symbol of safety and family, was transformed into a scene of a heinous crime. Alfaro, driven by her addiction and desperation, committed an unthinkable act. Autumn, a life full of potential and youth, was tragically cut short. This event not only marked a devastating loss for the Wallace family, but also sent ripples of shock and grief throughout the community. The aftermath of this day brought a profound and unsettling realization of the fragility of safety and the devastating impact of addiction and crime. As the investigation unfolded, the details of the crime brought to light the stark realities of human vulnerability and the depths of despair that can drive individuals to commit such acts. Alfaro's subsequent confession, while bringing some semblance of justice, also opened up a myriad of questions about the societal failures and personal circumstances that led to such a tragic outcome. The trial that followed was a focal point of media attention, drawing the public's eye to the complexities and tragedies of the human condition. The courtroom became a stage for the unfolding drama of guilt, remorse, and the search for justice. Each testimony and piece of evidence added layers to the understanding of the case, painting a picture of a life marred by poor choices and a young victim whose future was unjustly stolen. As the sentence was passed, the community grappled with mixed feelings of relief, sadness, and reflection. The case of Autumn Wallace and Rosie Alfaro became a somber reminder of the consequences of crime, the ripple effects on families and communities, and the enduring quest for meaning and justice in the wake of such tragedies. This moment in history stands as a testament to the enduring impact of a single day's events, shaping the narrative of a community and the discourse around crime, punishment, and societal responsibility. It's a story that compels us to look deeper into the human experience, the choices we make, and the paths those choices lead us on. In the wake of the trial, the Wallace family, along with the Anaheim community, embarked on a journey of healing and remembrance. Autumn's memory became a catalyst for initiatives aimed at safeguarding children and supporting victims' families. The community's resilience in the face of such adversity became a beacon of hope and unity. Alfaro's story, too, served as a grim reminder of the potential human downfall through addiction and crime. It raised questions about the effectiveness of the juvenile justice system, rehabilitation, and the societal factors contributing to such personal crises. The impact of this case reverberated beyond the courtroom, prompting discussions on mental health, substance abuse, and the social safety nets necessary to catch individuals before they fall into a cycle of crime. In retrospect, the case of Autumn Wallace and Rosie Alfaro is not just a tale of crime and punishment, it's a narrative that intertwines the complexities of human behavior, societal shortcomings, and the relentless pursuit of justice. 
It challenges us to reflect on our roles and responsibilities in creating a society where such tragedies are less likely to occur. The investigation into Autumn Wallace's tragic death was a high-stakes endeavor marked by a rapid and intense search for answers. Rosie Alfaro's confession initially appeared to be a breakthrough, providing a harrowing account of the events that led to Autumn's untimely demise. However, the narrative took unexpected turns as Alfaro began to alter her story, introducing the perplexing element of an alleged, yet elusive, accomplice. This twist injected further complexity into the case, leaving investigators grappling with sorting fact from fiction. As the evidence continued to amass, the case against Alfaro solidified, painting a grim picture of the events that transpired on that fateful day. The community, still in a state of shock and mourning, was closely attuned to every development in the investigation. The overwhelming nature of the evidence presented a daunting prospect for the upcoming trial, raising the stakes for all involved. With the trial imminent, there was a palpable sense of anticipation and anxiety within the Anaheim community. The hope for justice for Autumn was paramount, with many seeking closure and retribution for the senseless loss of a young, innocent life. The community's collective grief and desire for justice underscored the emotional weight of the proceedings. As the trial approached, the narrative of the case became a focal point of public attention. The complexity of human nature, the impact of addiction, and the consequences of desperate actions were themes that resonated deeply. The trial promised not only legal resolution, but also a deeper understanding of the tragic events that led to Autumn Wallace's death. The trial stage, marked by an air of solemnity and anticipation, was a critical juncture in the case. The community, still reeling from the loss of Autumn Wallace, looked towards the trial for answers and justice. As details of the crime were methodically laid out, the courtroom became a venue for confronting the harsh realities of the case. Rosie Alfaro, now at the center of this legal battle, faced the consequences of her actions. Each day of the trial brought new revelations, further entangling the complex web of emotions, facts, and testimonies. In this emotionally charged atmosphere, the prosecution and defense presented their narratives, each aiming to sway the jury's verdict. The evidence, stark and unyielding, painted a vivid picture of the crime. The community's collective heartache and the weight of legal responsibility permeated the courtroom, creating a backdrop of profound gravity. As the trial progressed, it became more than just a quest for legal resolution. It evolved into a narrative about human frailty, societal failings, and the quest for redemption and justice. The story of Autumn and Alfaro, interwoven with themes of loss, regret, and the pursuit of justice, resonated far beyond the confines of the courtroom. The conclusion of the trial would mark a significant moment, not only in delivering justice for Autumn, but also in offering a semblance of closure to a community forever changed by this tragedy. This phase of the narrative captures the essence of the trial, reflecting the community's search for justice and understanding in the aftermath of an unimaginable loss. The trial of Rosie Alfaro became a focal point of media attention, capturing the public's gaze with its dramatic unfolding. Alfaro, at the heart of this controversial case, faced the gravest of consequences, the possibility of the death penalty. Throughout the trial, the narrative that emerged was one of a life marred by addiction, poor choices, and a series of tragic decisions leading to an irrevocable act. The courtroom atmosphere was tense, with every testimony and piece of evidence adding layers to the complex story of Alfaro's life and the events leading to Autumn Wallace's murder. The prosecution painted a chilling picture of the crime, emphasizing the severity and brutality of Alfaro's actions. Meanwhile, the defense portrayed Alfaro as a product of a troubled life, urging the jury to consider the broader context of her actions. As the trial progressed, it became more than a legal proceeding. It evolved into a deep exploration of societal issues such as drug addiction, the impact of upbringing on life choices, and the criminal justice system's handling of such cases. The community, still reeling from the shock of Autumn's death, followed the trial closely, seeking closure and justice. The day of sentencing arrived, marking a pivotal moment in this tragic saga. In a landmark decision, Alfaro was sentenced to death, becoming the first woman in Orange County to face such a fate. This verdict sent a powerful message about the consequences of heinous crimes, yet it also opened up conversations about the death penalty and its implications in the justice system. 
the community grappled with mixed emotions following the sentencing. While some felt that justice had been served, others were left pondering the deeper societal issues that the case had brought to light. The tragedy of Autumn Wallace and the fate of Rosie Alfaro became a poignant reminder of the complexities of human nature, the consequences of actions, and the enduring pursuit of justice in the face of unimaginable loss. As the community absorbed the impact of Alfaro's sentencing, the case's conclusion did not signify an end to the emotional and societal reverberations. The sentencing, while providing legal closure, raised profound questions about justice, rehabilitation, and the death penalty. For some, the sentence was a necessary response to the gravity of the crime, while for others, it sparked debates on the effectiveness and morality of capital punishment. The case of Rosie Alfaro and Autumn Wallace thus transcended its immediate context, becoming a touchstone for discussions on broader societal issues. It highlighted the tragic consequences of untreated addiction, the complexities of the criminal justice system, and the enduring challenges of balancing justice, compassion, and societal protection. In the aftermath, the community sought to find ways to honor Autumn's memory and prevent such tragedies. This case remains a poignant reminder of the human cost of crime and the ongoing struggle to achieve a just and compassionate society. The tragic murder of nine-year-old Autumn Wallace at the hands of 18-year-old Rosie Alfaro sent shockwaves through the Anaheim community. But more than just a tale of a horrific crime, this case serves as a cautionary parable underscoring the immense fragility of human morality. It lays bare how easily an ordinary day can transform into unspeakable violence through desperation and poor choices. Most disturbingly, it reveals the human capacity for inflicting harm when one feels caged by circumstances. Cast under the harsh spotlight of public scrutiny, Alfaro emerged as a composite of societal failings, an adolescent girl raised in poverty, wrestling personal demons and addiction without adequate support systems. The crime she committed, while unconscionable, can be viewed as an indictment of a system that failed to intervene at critical junctures or provide her the tools to overcome adversity. Of course, this does not excuse personal accountability for decisions made. But it does beg the question of whether different choices would have been made with proper guidance from institutions meant to nurture society's most vulnerable. Autumn's fate, too, raises difficult questions around the duty to safeguard innocence against the risk of human downfall. The community's sense of security was permanently ruptured realizing that peril can be lurking, even in the most familiar of places. It prompted difficult self-reflection on the false perception of safety, especially for the most defenseless members of society. On a deeper level, the question emerges of whether true justice can ever be served for a life cut short so early. Does the severe punishment delivered upon Alfaro restore the promise stolen from Autumn or grant solace to her grieving family? While the courts ascribed accountability, profound loss still reverberated through the community, accentuated by the senselessness of it all. Still, the justice process provided resolution that helps communities make sense of senseless acts. The desire to assign meaning and restore order to chaos explains the communal compulsion to have guilt proclaimed, sentences handed out, and punishments enforced. Out of tragedy arises a structure for coping and a path forward for healing. An indelible mark on the community's history, the case also ignited action spurring new youth programs, victims' resources, drug prevention efforts. Autumn's memory fueled reforms across various systems aimed at filling the gaps that failed young women like Alfaro and Wallace. Tragedy bred a groundswell of compassion and social responsibility. At its core, this case will forever serve as a timeless morality tale on the rippling repercussions of crime and personal choices. It lays bare the human potential for good and evil that lies within everyone, warning of the necessity for self-awareness and self-mastery. On a societal level, it demands collective responsibility to shepherd those struggling on society's fringes from self-destruction. This story's staying power derives not just from the horrific crime, but the relatability of those involved. Alfaro and Wallace represented two young women whose paths shockingly intersected one afternoon, leaving indelible scars across the community. Two promising lives forever impacted, one brutally shortened and another's effectively ended as well. The lessons gleaned resonate deeply. No one is impervious to life-altering choices when one feels their back is against the wall. 
functioning systems of rehabilitation and support are essential even in prosperous communities. And innocence lost shakes communities to their core, even decades later. With truth comes opportunity for revelation and growth. May Autumn's memory ignite individual accountability and collective compassion. For communities to heal and progress, those struggling on society's fringes cannot be cast aside, but rather seen as vital threads in the inextricable fabric of shared humanity. The saga of Rosie Alfaro and the tragic fate of Autumn Wallace is more than a crime story. It's a profound exploration of the intersection between personal choices, societal issues, and their irreversible consequences. This case brings to light the complex layers of human behavior, the devastating impact of addiction, and the rippling effects of crime on a community. As we reflect on Autumn's lost innocence and Alfaro's consequential life choices, we are reminded of the delicate balance between justice and compassion in our society. This story, etched in the annals of Orange County's history, urges us to ponder deeper about the societal constructs and individual decisions that shape our world. It serves as a somber reminder of the importance of understanding, preventing, and healing the deeper issues that underlie such tragic events. In remembering Autumn Wallace, we acknowledge the enduring need for justice and healing, and the continuous effort to create a more empathetic and just society.